I think what we've established is to use the knowledge of immunology and stem cells to fix genetic diseases that include immunological diseases. To use stem cells that carry surface markers of a different person to induce tolerance. As I said though, although I am involved in many organizations at many levels, including companies, to try to make it go forward, the one lesson I've learned about going from discovery to real clinical translation is that we all have to go too early because we were taught that we were supposed to hand things over to the companies. They knew how to do it better than us. And my argument is no, they don't know how to do it better than us once you get above small molecules. Small molecules, they do better than us. Proteins they're getting good at, but we can do the same. We can do antibodies. I don't have a GMP manufacturing here. I contract out manufacturing for our California-sponsored, Stanford-sponsored, Oxford-sponsored clinical trials that we're going to do. So it's important to recognize that when you make a discovery and you think you see a preclinical objective for it, it's your own responsibility to carry it forward. Nobody else knows it better than you. And if you don't have the courage to do it, it won't go forward. And when you do have the courage, you're going to go up against every possible, I knew it wouldn't work. You'll have, like I told you at ASCO, by the way, the people at ASCO uh, a year later stood up and cheered when there was no benefit of mobilized blood for treating breast cancer. Now, I can't imagine why doctors who treat breast cancer patients would be happy that something failed. I just don't understand that. I think that, you know, we as humans have to understand the human condition. We have to realize that every disease has a scientific basis and we are the only ones who can bring it out. That even though it seems traditional to hand over your discovery to the commercial people early on, that is the valley of death, and you hardly ever get through the valley of death. So that governments like the state government of California have to take on the responsibility to fund to and through clinical trials. So the, that's the lesson, that, that we have to take responsible for what we do. We have to understand the environment in which we work so that we can do it. And if we have to be political sometime, we have to be political. If we have to take on somebody like, say, the Vatican, which I've done several times, you've got to take on the Vatican. If they're the barrier to what you're doing, you've got to do it. And you have to speak truth to power. 